Hi, I'm Amelia. I go to Annapolis High School. I'm very involved in environmental activism through the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. I also am really involved in political advocacy, including First Amendment demonstrations such as the climate strike I organize. So I've always been interested in environmental advocacy, especially after being a student leader with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. So I'm part of Maryland's, like what they call the Student Bay Advisory Council. We will do like more advocacy through lobbying. So during session, we'll learn about bills and then we'll all get together and have like a lobby day and we'll all talk to our local legislators about legislation regarding the Bay. I feel like increasingly there's been a lot of these reports coming out that are saying that we're going to have trouble in the next 50, 30, 20 years coming up. So just like realizing that like the timeline of my life of like me being and doing the things I want to do is kind of almost shortened in a way. It's definitely scary, but instead of taking all those statistics and just being afraid, I've kind of used that to push me towards like activism and making a stand and taking action to support the things I believe in. Through organizing a climate strike, I found that I have like a lot of skill in organization and then also I felt really courageous from that because I kind of conquered something I was really scared to do and I learned that I'm much more capable of things than I think I am. And then when like the strike day finally came, I was very pleasantly surprised at the amount of people that showed up. It was really amazing, it was really empowering, but it was really cool because at the time we were like outside the House of Delegates, all like a bunch of politicians were walking and so the bills we were supporting ended up passing. We shouldn't take this much action to get them to listen to our cries and warnings about our future in a world affected by climate change. So it was to put Maryland on track to 40% renewable energy by 2030. So that meant putting more money into solar and renewable technologies, even though like it kind of just felt like I was with my friends like marching around, you know, just kind of yelling and screaming or just angry. It felt like we had real impact on legislation and on like the future for Maryland.